Right, today what we're going to look at is how to access online books or e-books. E stands for electronic and all of these books can be accessed via Moodle. So the first thing we need to do is go to your Moodle homepage, click on the information and learning services tab and then scroll down and click on the learning centre. There's no need to log right into Moodle. This takes you to the Learning Centre homepage and this page contains lots of links to help you with your research. Today we're going to look at the three links down on the left hand side. We have Abri, My Eye Library and Dawson Era. And today we're going to look at Abri. This is the biggest collection of our online books, so click on Abri. Now at this point you need to type in City of Sunderland College. Then continue. Type in your student number. And your password. Now this has took us straight through to the Avery homepage. What we could do is simply type in a word or term, in double quotation marks if you, if you wish, in the simple search box. But today I'm going to look at using the key subject areas in the middle here. So we're going to look at travel and tourism. If you look here, we have 114 books or documents all together. So to narrow it down a little, I'm going to click on Guide Books and Search. Perhaps you're interested in travelling. We have now 22 books or documents. I'm just going to scroll down and what have we? Yes, we've click on the adventure guide to the Italian Riviera before we actually open the book to find out what the uh, contents of the book, book is we could click on table of contents and this brings up um, the chapter headings within the book and there is a very um, useful part here where to stay so to take us straight through into this book at uh, this chapter you just click on there where to stay So what we have here on the screen is that chapter within the book and the table of contents for the whole book. Perhaps we'd like to stay somewhere on the coast. So if we click in this search document box and type coast, then search document. What it's done is search through the whole book for that word and it's actually in every chapter because we can tell because there is the um, magnifying glass next to each chapter so if we click on the forward arrow with the magnifying glass that will take us to the first place where it's mentioned in the word to stay chapter and here we are there's one two three Oh, and it's took us right to the next chapter now so there was three results in the um, where to stay chapter perhaps we were interested in the first one which is the Hotel Bonera now what we could do is copy and paste the text by simply highlighting just as if you were in a word document and right click with your mouse go to copy and copy that into a word document the other option we have is to go to info tools scroll down to print and what we could do 
if we wish is print the current page or the page numbers we require or print the whole chapter. Also in brackets here it says that the maximum number of prints is 40 pages and that is to keep us in line with copyright. Just close that box down. Um, just to go through um, the um, icons along the top here it for tools we've just used this forward and back arrow is just to actually move through the pages either forwards or backwards these were the forward and back arrow um, the buttons that we used with the magnifying glass to find the word post here we can make the page larger or smaller and here we can highlight some text within the page and here also we can change it to pink or whatever so if I just highlight some text there there you go it's highlighted the text for us and the other option is the end here is download and this gives us the option of downloading the chapter and where to stay or to download the entire document for 14 days to our PC. One further thing we can do is put the book on the bookshelf so that the next time we access eBury we can find it straight away so click on at my bookshelf and there is the book ready to access so you just click on the title and that would open the book on the screen I hope you've enjoyed looking at this screencast there are more screencasts available if you need any further help please ask a member of staff in the Learning Centre thank you